Hello, everybody. Welcome to the All Day Football Show. I'm your host, Jackson Kellogg, and today we will be picking who will be the winner of Super Bowl number 55. So, our matchup is between the Chiefs and the Buccaneers, but before we get into a preview of the matchup, so last week's results, so really two weeks ago, in the conference championships games, I picked the Chiefs and the Packers. The Packers ended up losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a game where the Packers couldn't get out of their own way, but the refs did also screw them over. So upset win goes to the Buccaneers, and not surprise goes to the Chiefs, who handled Josh Allen and the Bills fairly easily. So that put my total season record at 172, 95, and 1. And because this is the Super Bowl, no teams are on by. Well, technically, because every team except the Chiefs and the Buccaneers aren't playing. But we're not going to list every single team. So, Super Bowl 55. The Chiefs enter the Super Bowl as the favorite. I don't know what the exact spread is right now. I just know they're the favorite. As the Chiefs are looking to win back-to-back Super Bowls as they won last year over the 49ers in comeback fashion. And you have, on the other side, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, with being led by Brady, who is trying to get his seventh Super Bowl, his first if he were to win without the Patriots. This is his tenth career Super Bowl appearance, winning six. So he's got a pretty good record there. And on top of all that, the Super Bowl is being held in Tampa Bay. So technically, the Buccaneers are the home team. Whoop-de-doo. What a world 2020 put us through. And to think that 2021 would get any better. Jeez, and we can't keep these teams out of it. This is going to be a game of who are the refs going to favor more, the Chiefs or Tom Brady? Because that's who they've been favoring for the last few years, and this is coming for a, from a Patriots fan. Yeah, being a, the Patriots wasn't the reason that we got some of those good calls. It was Brady. And Brady left, yeah, those calls went out the window. Ah, <sighs> the good old days. Anyways, getting back to this matchup. So, at the moment right now, it is uh, the weather forecast is showing a storm that might show up. So, we'll see how that can deal uh, with the play of both teams. I don't think it will handle either of them too much as the Buccaneers have played in weather before and the Chiefs play in Kansas City where it snows. So I don't think there's going to be an issue weather-wise for either team. I'm sure they're going to prepare for either. Most team or Both teams are mostly healthy, dealing with not too many injuries or key injuries on either side. Antonio Brown is questionable for the Buccaneers, but other than that, no key uh, injuries to report that could have an effect on the game so we're going to compare the Chiefs offense and the Buccaneers defense first so the Chiefs offense the last time these teams played absolutely killed the Buccaneers in the regular season in the regular season the Chiefs won I believe the final score was 27 24 that does that score does not show how the game actually went though as the Chiefs destroyed the Buccaneers in the first half and let off the gas pedal late even against Tom Brady of all opponents Tyreek Hill almost got 200 yards in that first half, receiving as the Buccaneers' defense could not contain him, mainly the secondary, as Tyreek Hill is a wide receiver. So, with the Chiefs being mostly healthy in the running back room, they'll be able to rotate between Edwards Lair and Le'Veon Bell, and even, um, oh, I don't even remember his name right now, Daryl Williams uh, at running back. So they'll have a rotation at the running back room if needed. And they'll have most of their weapons. Demarcus Robinson got cleared, so they'll have Tyreek Hill, uh, Travis Kelsey, Demarcus Robinson. I believe Sammy Watkins is going to be playing. Um, Michael Hardman. They're going to have all their weapons. The issue for the Chiefs' offense is going to be the offensive line that is mostly made up of backups. And it's going to come down to, are they going to be able to handle both? making running lanes for the running backs to get through, as well as are they going to be able to protect Patrick Mahomes long enough against this Buccaneers pass rush that is ranked one of the best in the league at being able to get after the quarterback. So I think that can be an issue. 
the running game is going to be an issue in itself as the Buccaneers have one of the best run defenses in the league. And the front seven is very good for the Buccaneers. It's when you get to the back end of the defense where they're good, but they're young, so they're shaky, they're inconsistent, and they're either big plays against, uh, for them or big plays against them. And the last time these two teams played, it was big plays against them as Mahomes just kept chucking the ball to Tyree Kill and the secondary could not stop him. So I do think this Buccaneers team, is go the defense is going to have a tough time com uh, containing the air raid of the Chiefs, but if they can get after Mahomes, that they can help uh, limit the amount uh, of deep passes a little bit. So flipping to Bucks offense, Chiefs defense, the Buccaneers offense has been inconsistent this year, but has done really well in the in the playoffs here. They've been able to get the running game going behind Leonard Fournette as Ronald Jones has been dealing with uh, some issues. The offensive line has done fairly well. Uh, they've had to deal with a few injuries here and there, but they've mostly been holding steady, uh, partly with help of rookie offensive tackle Tristan Wirfs, who has been the best uh, rookie offensive lineman this year. Uh, I, if I were to say the top few would be uh, Wirfs, Onwenu of the Patriots, uh, and Jedrick Wills of the Browns. And even Mekhi Becton has done well uh, for the Jets too. One of the few Jets players to do well. But this Buccaneers team is going to come down to, is Brady going to have his Super Bowl moments? So Brady has done very well in the last few Super Bowls he's been in. The one time where they didn't really need Brady was against the Rams where they just pounded the ball with Sony Michelle and ran the ball out and let the defense handle the rest. So in this game, they're not going to be able to do that as the Chiefs have the best offense in the league, and the Buccaneers' defense, like I said, is good but not elite. They're not the best. So this is going to come down to, is Brady going to be able to make fewer mistakes that he has throughout the season, not in terms of uh, how he is mentally. Brady is one of the smartest players on any football field ever. And that's not what I'm saying is the issue. And whenever I say Brady's taking a decline, it's not that I think Brady would be a great offensive coordinator or head coach someday. But he is getting older and his play is limited. He talked about this week uh, having to work on speed training uh, in this upcoming offseason after the Super Bowl so, because all these quarterbacks are being able to run around and he can't. And he's shown that he hasn't been able to. So... That might be an issue in this game with the Chiefs' uh, pass rush, who they don't put up big uh, names and numbers, but they do get after the quarterback, uh, whether it's Chris Jones, Frank Clark. They get after their court, the opposing quarterbacks, and I think that could lead to an issue for Brady if he can't get the ball out quick enough he's, if he's standing in the pocket for too long. Brady likes to read the field, and he has his dump-off options, but I don't know if they're going to be able to just dump past the whole game. This game is going to come down to if the Buc Brady relies on a running game to work on his other uh, passing outlets. So if Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones can get the running game going, then this game could uh, stay pretty close. But if the if they can't get the running game going, then it might be a bit more of an issue. So this game is going to come down to can Brady get the passing offense going? And will the Chiefs be able to stop it uh, in their secondary? As they do have some young talent to help them, uh, including Legereus Need and Tyron Matthew being the veteran in that back in that back end. So, to pick a winner of Super Bowl Fifty Five, with all that I have laid out, I will be picking the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl with a score of twenty four to thirty. As I think. The Chiefs will be down one point and have a deep ball to Tyreek Hill for a touchdown to win the game. So it will be 23-24, then the touchdown to win 30-24. to That is my final score for this game. I think Mahomes repeats and Brady has to come back next year after losing his fourth Super Bowl. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would help and I would greatly appreciate it. Hope you all have a great Super Bowl Sunday. I uh, can't wait for what we're doing, uh, my family, but hope you all have your own traditions and whatnot and that you enjoy the game no matter who you're rooting for. 
me being a Patriots fan. I'm just going to enjoy the game. But anyways, hope you have a great Super Bowl Sunday. And thank you for watching. And let's hope that the Patriots are back here next year.